Hey, Cars Guys. Give me that. <laughs> hey, Cars Guys. JT back here with you with my buddy Justin from HBO. You guys know him all too well. Got a great channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hey, smash the subscribe button for HBO and Cars Guys. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed the last episode. A little short episode just to uh, show my appreciation for 1,000 subs. 1,000 subs. We did it, guys. And here's the big sub guy himself. <laughs> just trying to follow in his footsteps, guys. Hey, um... Special upload today, guys. Uh, if you look around, you know this monster all too well. His beautiful 2019 ZR1 here in the uh, Cars Guys lab. And there's Zeus, the Laguna Blue 2015 Z06, guys. And uh, if you look in Justin's car, he did a mod a little ways ago. Uh, if you look back to some of his uploads, you'll see he put these uh, rev match paddles in his car. and. Uh, kind of matches his color scheme beautiful red rev match paddles and uh, we're going to do the same thing for Zeus you guys know I have uh, yellow calipers and uh, I was lucky enough to uh, find some yellow rev match paddles Justin drove all the way down to help me install these bad boys here's the uh, yellow rev match paddles and you guys will get a better look at them uh, when we're putting them on so uh, that's the game plan. We're going to do yellow red match paddles in Zeus, and uh, my buddy Justin is going to help me out. So stick around, cars. Right here, uh, we're in uh, Justin's 2019 ZR1, and if you could see here, this uh, just a little splash of red with the uh, red red match paddles made a huge difference uh, from the uh, stock ones. Uh, OEM stuff, and uh, I got the same ones here in uh, yellow. So uh, I'm going to have that in a little bit. So stick around. I just wanted to give you guys a closer look of how this rev match paddle matches almost perfectly here with the uh, caliper. If you could see that back in there, I was a little bit worried uh, when I ordered these that the uh, color wouldn't be an exact match. But if you can see here, guys, it's a pretty, pretty doggone close. So if you're interested in doing this mod, you can actually check out the yellow part numbers right here and right there. So that's going to be the right rev match paddle and the left rev match paddle. Check it out, guys. Cars guys repping the HPO merch. Now we're gonna get a cold start of Zeus. You can see this hole right here right where my finger's pointing. There's one on each side of the steering wheel. You wanna take a long screwdriver and put it in there and you can actually feel the spring. You gotta push in and that will release the airbag so you can pull out the airbag to continue on for these paddles. So one at a time and be prepared because you're gonna honk the horn about 20 times here. So you push this in, you'll feel it kind of let loose and then you just grab, <laughs> grab the horn and pull it out. So as you can see, that side is now out a little bit, and now we got to do the other side. So over on the driver's side now, you can see right here again, same hole. We're going to go in there with the screwdriver, same way we did over on the passenger side. Push it until that clip comes loose. Once, once you feel that clip, you can see it's kind of springing back. We push in there hard enough, you can grab the horn or airbag and honk it a bunch of times, but it will pull out eventually. Let's see if you can pull the whole thing out. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, we got both sides pushed in and then pulled out. So now this will just pull straight out and we will have access to the screws that hold in the rev match paddles. There it is out. So with my lovely assistant holding the airbag up out of the way, we can see inside here now, all this metal bezel is held on with is a couple clips on the inside. So if you grab right here and just pull straight out, you'll remove the clips. And right back behind here is a screw, a Torx head screw that holds in the rev match paddles. So once we pop this out, we'll get to that screw and then that's it. You unscrew those rev match paddles, put in the new ones, and there's one tiny electrical connector that goes to each one of these rev match paddles. But you can do this without disconnecting the battery and without disconnecting the actual airbag. As long as you hold it up out of the way like that, it gives you more than enough room to actually work in here. Central here. So as you can see with the bezel loose, the airbag's still loose, 
you can pull it back enough to see right there is the screw. So like I said, it's a Torx head screw that directly connects to the rev match paddles. So we'll just get a screwdriver in there, remove that guy right there. And then there's one tiny electrical connector that goes to it as well. And the screw size in here, just so you guys know, it is a Torx bit. It is a T25. We'll remove the screw for these rev match paddles. So from here, we just kind of maneuver this thing out. As you can see, we have a little electrical connector right here. We just remove that, plug in the new one, screw in the new rev match paddle, and that's pretty much it. That's one rev match paddle down. So let's take a look at the new ones compared to the old ones. They're the same quality, obviously, OEM pieces. The only difference is they're painted. So this feels a little cheaper just because it's plastic versus the yellow ones are actually a nice coat of paint with clear coat. So they feel a little more premium, but in reality, they're exactly the same. Side by side. How cool is that? Pretty awesome stuff, guys. Real easy install, real easy way to give your car some color on the interior. JT's Laguna Blue car with yellow calipers and Spectra gray wheels with a machine finish lip is already a pretty rare color combination. Now we're gonna add a little more yellow on the interior, make it even more rare. And guys, there's nothing wrong with a little color. <laughs> so we're gonna take the new one. We're just gonna plug in the electrical connector here, which I'm doing completely blind. So it's connected there. Now we're just going to push it back in. If you look up here, the screw is already basically set, ready to go. We're just going to start tightening it in. We got one done and the other one is coming soon. One screw, T25 and one electrical connector. Hardest part really is getting the horn out and this surrounding bezel, but you don't have to worry about disconnecting this. There's not really any kind of fear of death here, as long as you have someone to hold it out of the way or some good way of keeping it out of your working space. So now we're gonna do the same thing over here and we're done. So same thing over here, guys, we're gonna use the T25 or the old shift paddle. Once the screw is out, the whole shift paddle will just kind of drop out. Unboxing. There she is. All canary yellow and stuff. Looks way better, guys. That's it. We are installed. Now, the really difficult part of reinstallation for the bezel and the horn here, which is just pushing everything back into place. So if this comes off, this on the back is actually just a couple clips and it's really held on with the pressure of the silver bezel here. So just slide it back into place. You'll actually feel it clip back down in just like that. Then for the bezel, just push it down until you feel it kind of push into place. And then the horn or the airbag. Now again, when you go to push the airbag in, it's gonna honk the horn at least twice. It's gonna happen unless you disconnect your battery. There you go. That is a finished installation, guys. Check those out. Looking awesome. Still clicky. What do you think? I like it, I like it. Just it a nice little pop of color, man. It makes all the difference. It almost matches his hat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cars, guys, there you have it. The uh, yellow red match paddles to match my uh, calipers. Huh? You gotta coordinate <laughs> all right guys hey stick around for an outro nice pop of color guys uh yellow red match paddles just to match the uh match the calipers easy install as you guys saw uh, not a whole lot of disassemblement here on the car and as you can see they match perfect so anyway guys uh, that's going to do it for the video uh special thanks to hbo justin for his help with the install quite welcome and uh hey thanks again guys uh we're at a thousand subs and uh on our way to 2k hey thanks a lot thanks a lot for watching guys uh, if you haven't already subscribed smash the subscribe button for both of our channels thumbs up and uh bell notification lets you guys know when we make uploads so uh hey we'll catch you in the next upload